Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you are having a wonderful, wonderful day. I know we are. Uh, we're doing something big today. We are. We're kind of. We're trading in the truck. We are trading the truck for a certain vehicle with 480 horsepower and 600 pound foot of torque. Now the astute um, viewer uh, might know what we're talking about. Okay, I'm going to clarify a little bit. We're not actually trading the truck in. It's more like it's more like a trade for the day. But needless to say, 2021 Mustang Mach-E GT. Letting you go, I was just letting you know I know the weather is cold, but you on your own I ain't no regular Joe, you should've left me alone I'm in the zone, I'm where the predators roam We at the Senate in Rome, and I'm on the throne This ain't no regular poem, this ain't that regular tone, no Do you follow me, baby? Can you see what I have? Do you like what you see? Do I follow your path? I don't know if I like you, I just know that you bad Who you driving me crazy? You could drive in that cab out. If you don't like it, you got hop out. Always been the So don't tell the nice folks at Ford this. This might be the first time I've ever been in an electric car. This is the first time I've been in an electric car, but how different can it be? It's gonna be it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. The electric noises are very interesting. It's got like a like a I feel like I'm in the Jetsons. Yeah, it does, yeah. Okay, let's see. First little first little Jeez, oh my goodness. <laughs> Wow, it's just, that, I mean, that, it's tunnel vision. It's a weird thing because every time I go fast in my Mustang, I feel guilty yeah. because it's so loud. But this, and this, uh, nobody knows because it's so quiet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it just launches. It puts you it back, puts in, you your back in your seat. Now driving this, I can't even begin to imagine what like the Tesla Plaid would be like. Oh, I know. Because that, is even faster. So, some specs. Zero to 60 in 3.8 seconds, I believe. This is the regular GT, not the performance edition. Uh, 480 horsepower and 600 pound-foot of torque. If you get the performance edition, uh, you're looking at 634 pound-foot of torque. 3.5 seconds, zero to 60. Uh, it's a quarter mile, 12.5 for the performance edition. So, it's pretty quick. All right, we're at a light. We're not gonna get too crazy because uh, we want the nice people afford to like us. <laughs> that was only the 30. We're yeah, not, we're not gonna do anything too. Yeah, no, too but dumb. I mean that, and that's quicker than every car I've been in. We're gonna try the one pedal driving. So this just amps up the braking regeneration. So with electric cars, there's a lot of regenerative braking, which helps recharge the battery a little bit. So with the one pedal drive, it amps up the braking. So you let off the gas. Oh yeah. Oh, wow. I mean, yeah, that's... As, soon as, as soon as you let off the gas, it feels like you're putting the brakes on. We're gonna change to whisper here. Let's see. I didn't notice anything, did you? Whoa. No, it's still fast. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna, gonna go over a few railroad tracks. We'll see. So whisper, this should be the softest setting. Really good. Yeah, really good. It really didn't thrash around or anything. So if we compare that to my 20-year-old Mustang. Oh, yeah. We'll just leave it like that. That's so quiet. It is. It is. So it's really weird. Every time I've been in a Mustang, it's been an intrusively loud screaming V8. Yeah. Because that's what I built. This is way different. So that... I'm trying, I'm gonna do this the best I can without putting my Mustang bias into this because there's a big debate, is it a Mustang? Is it not a Mustang? We'll get to that at the end. Right now, we're just gonna focus on, is it a good car? So far, things are looking good. It's, it's looking good. It's just like a little baby, obviously not, not very fast because where we are, let's see. That thing puts you back. Yeah, and I, I don't think, and now we're in whisper mode too. Oh, it was in whisper mode. Well, yeah, I didn't realize. I thought we were still in unbridled. Mm -mm. Still plenty quick in whisper mode. There's no denying that the exterior of the Mach E GT, it looks pretty, pretty dang sweet, especially with the non paint matched grille, if you will. The front end is so, so menacing. So on the regular Mach E, that is paint matched. On here, 
it's like a little grill design almost makes it look so much more like a regular mustang it's a mustang it's a mustang thing so you know we have to we got to pop the trunk let's see what's laying inside this oh yeah a whole lot of uh, cargo space don't right. worry if you're stuck in here you can get out is there a little latch okay so go ahead Now being electric, it's very quiet, so price, here's the keys, don't wreck it, it's fast. We know that now, but it's, it's fast. All right, give us a cold start. Come on, give us a cold start. Here's cold start 2021 Mach-E GT. Are you gonna do it? I'm it. Oh, are you really? Yeah, yeah. Some good mufflers on this thing. <laughs> it's very quiet, and it is like the Jetson, it's here. And then it's gone. <laughs> so on a scale of one to poo, how fast is it? Pretty pooey. Sticking with the Mustang vibes, we have the signature tri-beam tail lights that come on just like that. They do look really cool. God would admit, back in on the GT, it looks nice. Okay. We have to see, just, we have to do it for the viewers. Okay, what do we have to do? If you do get on it a little bit, will it chirp the tires? We have to find out. Okay. We have to find out. All right. That's like a quintessential Mustang thing. If it can't chirp the tires, is it a Mustang? I, I hope it can, we'll see. Ooh, okay, okay. Hey, all right, it spun the tires a little bit. It's, it's like, it's a little baby burnout because of course, all wheel drive, can't do a burnout. Maybe, maybe they'll come out with one that you can. Who knows? Now what we have to do now, definitely, we have to drive it around a little bit, get the gist of the car, see if it really holds true to that Mustang character. Maybe even go ask some people if they think it's a Mustang. What do you think? Do you think people are gonna say this is a Mustang? If we ask them what kind of car it is? I think so. You think so? Um, because that was Mustang. What well, says Mach-E? The only Mustang identification is in the wheels, the front, and the back. How about this? Let's go, let's drive okay. around. Okay. Let's see if people do think this is a Mustang. Okay. So. My prediction, car people will know it's a Mustang. Non-car people, I don't think they will. I really don't. I think they'll be a little a little flabbergasted by it. Yeah. Well, I'll be dipped. Look at that. We got ourselves a self-driving car here. So weird. Yeah, this is oh, strange. Yeah, see, it's telling me to keep my hands on keep my steering hands wheel. on the wheel. So it doesn't like it when you do that, but it does do it. How long? How long? I, I, I just took it off. Let's see. I'm, I'm Let's looking see. at. I'm looking at my surroundings, make sure it doesn't. Throw it. See. Okay. So it's. Yeah. So I say about a minute. Keep hands. Well, how how wheel. how long it will? Okay. Okay. Now it red. Then it got angry at you. Yeah, you man. made you made the Mustang <laughs> angry. Good job. <laughs> so some charging info for you folks out there. Uh, fast charge. It'll go from according to Ford from 10% to 80% in 45 minutes. If you're not doing fast charging, you're just plugging into like a regular 220. Uh, it goes to a full charge in 14 hours. Yes, it's a uh, it's a long. I have a question for you. What kind of car do you think this is? What kind of car? Yeah. It's a Mustang. I have a question for y'all. What kind of car do you think this is? I don't know car brands. Okay, fair enough. It's a Mustang. I saw the horse, I was gonna guess it. Would you have guessed it was a Mustang? Probably. Okay, fair enough. I have a question for you. What kind of car do you think this is? I have no idea. I didn't see the uh, the front of it. It's a Mustang. Really? Would you have is guessed? It, is it an elec oh, yeah, the electric? It's the Mustang, electric yeah. Mustang. Yeah, I have seen the electric Mustang. Yep, nobody has gotten it so far. I have a question for you. What kind of car do you think this is? Uh, Mustang. What, do you know what kind? Uh-uh. Maki. But you're like the first person who's gotten Mustang right. Yeah, I, I've seen him a lot. That went just about as I expected, with almost nobody knowing what kind of car this was. Maybe we just asked the wrong people, but from what I can get from that, what was it, one out of five new? One out of four? One out of four. So 25% of the population knows what this car is. A small sample, but yeah, you know. I, it's accurate, though, I, I, I think. Mm, okay. <laughs> yeah, she handles pretty good. You, uh, you got the traction yeah. handy going a little bit there, but for however, this weighs 4,900 pounds, it handles pretty dang good for being 4,900 pounds. And we put one pedal driving on now. Rumor has it this will come to a complete stop 
without using the brake. That is so crazy. It feels like you're on the brake right yeah, now. I'm not even not. it. And will we stop? Look, right here. Wow. Perfect. Man, it's like you've done this before. You timed that absolutely perfectly. Doing a little zero to 60. Whenever you're ready, we're good to go. That's it. <laughs> okay. That's it. See, that one's at 5.7. I think we can get better. So I wish they had like a performance section in here where you could do like actual times in here. I don't think they do. So they should though. They should. Oh, it's fast. It is fast. So basically, our cheap race timer that is free, it's too fast for it. So very quick is the speed. You ready? I'm ready. See if we can get it. Come on, baby. I got 4.8. 4.8, so it's basically what, what we got last time. Mm -hmm. Which, it can do better. We're going 55, if we floor it now, it's still got plenty of power. Yeah. But when you start to get a little faster, you're right. Yeah. It drops significantly, significantly in the amount of power you have, but it's still, it's still pretty quick. So I do believe top speed, 124, I do believe that. So it is just instantaneous. The car is here and it's just gone. Goodness gracious. Hands down, best feature, the sketch. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Hello. Zero to 60. It says it 3.8. Now this is a performance car, so we need to do the performance tests. What about braking? We know acceleration's pretty good. What about braking? We're going 60 miles an hour. Pull out emergency stop. Whew. I need a new face. <laughs> and then you go right back in. Oh my goodness. Whew. One of my favorite videos, Top Gear, Jeremy Clarkson testing the Ford GT. Uh, he brought up that his neck was going to get longer from the back and forth of braking and acceleration. I know what he means. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. We'll see what we can do a little bit in the twist. You see how it compares to a front engine rear wheel drive. <laughs> it's fast. It handles well. It I wasn't it, expecting I it mean, to handle as well as it does. It really it does. Really does handle pretty how, well. How much does your Mustang weigh? Three, it's about a thousand pounds less than this, maybe even more than a thousand pounds less, like 3,600. I mean, for a thousand pounds more, because our trucks almost weigh this much, and our trucks, so if we did that, we'd be we'd flip over. If you put this on a racetrack, hands down, would be my Mustang. Oh, yes, for sure. Even though it, it weighs more, it, would, it wouldn't even be a competition, it would just walk it. So, the Mustang Mach E GT. Now, I gotta admit, I was skeptical. I was very skeptical at first because I'm a Mustang guy and they made a four-door Mustang. The electric part didn't bother me as much, although I was still skeptical about that. I'm kind of, I'm in an impasse here. I did not anticipate liking an electric vehicle as much as I did. The acceleration is intoxicating and you don't feel guilty when you're doing it because it's, it's so quiet, which is such a weird feeling. As far as Ford's claim of zero to 60 in 3.8 seconds, I do believe that. It's very fast, the electric power, instantaneous, so I do believe it. We obviously don't have a good way to test it, but I'll take their word for it. Price, what do you think? First time driving an electric vehicle. I, mean, I was like you, I didn't think I was gonna like it, but I mean, with, I mean, it's a Mustang. I, I, I can call it a Mustang now. I know you have your thoughts about that, but I, I think it's a Mustang. It's how quick it is. If you want that sound, you can just turn it on. And, you know, it's like your V8 under the engine there. Here's the problem I have with it. It checks the speed box. Performance-wise, handling is pretty good for what it is. I'll give it that. Handling is sports car, or sports sedan. Handling, it just doesn't have this passion. You know, I was worried a lot that this car would not have a soul. The electric car, it doesn't have an engine. There's no engine noise. It wouldn't have a soul. It does. The car does have a soul. I don't know if it's the Mustang soul, though. 
I'm still trying to figure that out. The car is blisteringly fast. It honks at you every once in a while just to let you know that it's still there. It's part of you, but it's just missing it. It doesn't, now, it doesn't have that no factor. Part. If you had the money, would you actually buy it? The sticker's over here. We'll see how much. For 61 cents. So this car is for sale. This car is for sale right now at Triple Crown Ford in Stephenville. They have been amazing with helping us out with this. This car is for sale. You can give them a call. There's a link in the description. You can visit their website down there. You can get this car, this exact car right now. Now you bring up a good point. The price. If you wanted to get a Mach 1 Mustang, V8, Coyote, one of the best Mustangs ever made, cheaper than this. So, in conclusion, the Mach-E did exceed my expectations. I didn't think I would like it this much. It is a dang good car. It truly is. I'm not convinced it's a dang good Mustang, but it's a dang good car. It's growing on me. I'm getting there. Let me know what you think. I know this is a big debate. Is the Mach-E a Mustang? I don't know. Before we put it up, the interior is... It's nice. It's very nice. This is a very, very good place to be. I do like what Ford is doing with the new interiors. I think they suit very well. Uh, the sketch pad is a big yes for me. I like the sketch pad. I have one complaint. I'm a tall guy, and this, I, I can only imagine. One, you get in the wreck, or you hit the brakes really hard, and you hit the screen, and you either hurt you, or you heard the screen. So that's my one complaint on the interior. Otherwise, everything's very comfortable. It's a very, it is a very nice place to be. I'll but give it to it. The seats, the seats are very, they have, they have some good, they, they keep you in place. They have, you know, they have good bolstering and the uh, copper stitching Oh yeah, that's is a good spec, a, one. a very good spec. Now I can't say a big enough thank you to Triple Crown Ford. Thank you so much for trusting us with your Mach-E GT. It was an absolute blast. If you're in the market, for a Mach-E or any Ford vehicle, there's a link down in the description. Be sure to hit them up because they are your best source around here to get a new Ford. With that, this video is pretty much over. I hope you enjoyed. There's a lot more coming from Triple Crown Ford, so be sure you go and you keep up to date with them and their inventory. They can definitely help you out soon. Bronco, maybe. Yeah. If you want to see a review us driving the Bronco, let us know. But until then, y'all make man. sure. We got more spicy news about that. Bronco right there. Ooh, we do. But we're gonna we wait. Gotta, we gotta wait. We gotta keep that quiet. We gotta keep that quiet. If you wanna figure out what that is, you're gonna have to stick around. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Remember, always keep it classy. Also, today is Veterans Day. Uh, thank you to each and every one of you who have served. We are forever in debt to you. And with that, y'all have a good one, and we'll catch y'all very soon.